22 Bishop's Gate is a 62-storey commercial development in the heart of the City of London. We originally took down the pinnacle core that stood previous that a lot of people would have known. We're obviously out the basement, the core is rising, still working, and the cladding is coming up given the building its form. The plant floors then rise up through the building at 7.25.42 in the head of the, head of the job. We're nearly there, so we're on our way for our first plant floors. It's a very, very exciting job. 4D virtual reality, very much born of our companies wanted to drive um, not just our project, but their, our company as a whole, with the technology that's emerging in the company. So obviously 3D, 4D, Synchro, all those things are not second nature to us, but they're something that we, we inherently do as a business. We already want to be at the forefront. We ended up coming to a company such as Freeform who had the same sort of vision and the drive as we did and really made what seemed like new ideas, crazy ideas made them a reality and were able to put all of these ideas into practice and create this incredible virtual world. So we started with the challenge. That challenge was planning the logistics, the sequencing, construction methodology of this incredibly complex but also incredibly tight job. So our finished floor plate is exactly the same size as the site boundary that we have now. This project's a flagship not just for multiplex but for the industry as well. Um, so we thought any, anything that we can implement here gives us a, a good start for how we go on in the future. We've partnered for Freeform for quite a while now. They've been bringing new technology into the business for, for quite a few years. Um, we've put all these crazy ideas on the table and that's where the 4D VR was born. 4D virtual reality was when we take design information, so models, and we attach that to tasks within the program. So steel sections being placed, a deck going in, the hoarding being uh, reconfigured, all of, all of that is attached to graphics so that you can see and understand exactly what's going to happen in the sequence, what's going to happen on the project next week, six months from now, and that access allows the team to come in and have input to that process, but also understand they leave the room with an informed view on what's going to happen next week and in six months' time. So that, that 4D part is something we've been doing for a number of years. It, it sits on a screen generally, or you print it out, so that, that paper and screen exercise, we've now taken over the last couple of years into virtual reality, where you can actually stand there in that position and understand exactly what's happening around you. So it's, it's, it's leveling up on screens. It's a, it's a better way of connecting people with what's happening next week. What it allows you to do is attend site virtually at any point in the future and it's incredibly immersive, more than any screen or 4D model that you've ever seen. Traditional forms of working as in looking at a screen, understanding what's happening next week or looking at a piece of paper, this is instant. It's easy, it's, it's surrounding you and you can, you can have five minutes in there and retain what's happening for that might take you two or three hours in an induction. So it's, it's very fast retention and, and really good feedback. It's been a massive help in sequencing the top of the building. The, the finished building is about nine metres below the, the aviation ceiling, I believe. Um, and trying to fit luffing tower cranes underneath that and carry out our works has proved very difficult. So having all that in an immersive environment and being able to test it virtually, everything modelled, uh, to the correct dimensions, we can identify clashes, potential problems, none of which we'd have been able to do without this. We know we're at the forefront. We know we're one of the first, if not the first in the world, to be using this as an interactive 4D virtual environments. Um, but we are already getting benefits from it. We're already being able to evaluate our crane strategy at the top of the building. Um, it's not, I think that's quite a complex thing for a tall building in the middle of the city. Um, there are sort of limits on how high you can go with cranes in, in the city itself, which a lot of people aren't aware of. And this really, we're able to stand back with what is effectively a, a big kids model. You can take crane sections off, see where you're gonna lay them. You can look where the crane driver's perspectives are, see where there are blind spots, where he's gonna be lifting to what stage of steel work is going to be at. You can physically see at that moment in time, that's six months, a year away, where you're going to be doing your works and what hazards, what points you may have missed that you may, I mean, you may not have thought of, you may not have seen in the 2D or even the 3D world. And that's really where it's going to show its value, I think, is that future interaction where you can really go into the world before it's there. 
So for us, one of the, the main drivers in this was taking two things. One was 4D that we that's embedded in how we go to work on projects. The other was a, a technology that's typically seen as a gimmick in our industry or, or not necessarily worth the investment. And what we've created is a tool not only that's been nominated and won some awards, um, but has also delivered real value to our construction and delivery teams. The risks we're dealing with on these projects are in the, the hundreds of thousands and the millions. Um, the tools we're talking about here are in the thousands. So the proportional cost against those risks is, is easy to justify on projects. Best thing with 4D VR, um, for me, my inner geek, it's, it, it's great. It is brilliant to be at the front of, of where the industry is going. You look at mobile phones 10 years ago, 15 years ago, people thought it was a bit of a gimmick, a joke, they were this big. Um, and that's, I see where VR is now, but it's, it's coming down to something that's actually applicable to the construction world. Once you get people into it and they try it, no matter where they come from, their age, their experience, they instantly see some sort of benefit or some sort of vision of where it can go and what it can do. And if you go into that with quite an open mindset, it's, it seems to have endless sort of possibilities to it. From a BIM manager's point of view, the best thing about this project is the team. So from the client, down to the leadership, to construction managers like Neil, to the younger generation like me. Everyone here is keen to push the boundaries, try new things, try new tools. Um, and that's, that's what's allowed us to, to invest in technology like this.